in this class we are going to discuss bcd subtraction that is by using tens complement so we will take tens complement bcd subtraction example here so see the example problem given so we need to perform the subtraction of 26.25 minus 38.26 so by using tens complement bcd subtraction so whatever the subtraction process it may be so here in this this is subtrahend and this is minuend in any subtraction process our first step is take that particular complement for subtrahend here we are in tens complement so we need to take tens complement for subtrahend this is our first step so now i am going to take tens complement for subtrahend so our subtrahend is 38.26 38.26 actually we have to say that as 38.26 as that is a bcd numbers okay so here 38.26 is our subtrahend now we are going to take tens complement means first of all we need to take nines complement so to take nines complement of any number we have to subtract each and every digit from 9 i am subtracting each and every digit here uh, see here so 9 minus 6 so is equivalent to 3 here 9 minus 2 is equivalent to 7 here point 9 minus 8 is equivalent to 1 here and 9 minus 3 so is equivalent to again 6 here so 61 or 61.73 will be nines complement of our subtrahend but we want tens complement so this is nines complement but we want tens complement means we have to add one to the nines complement so now i am adding to get tens complement so this is equal to 61.74 so 61.74 is the tens complement of our subtrahend 38 or 38.26 so our first step is take tens complement of subtrahend so tens complement of our subtrahend is 61.74 for this i have to do bcd subtraction means i have to consider in bcd code so this 61.74 i am considering in bcd code means every digit you are taking in 4 4 binary digits so here 6 i am going to take separately so 0 1 1 0 1 you are taking separately that means 0 1 point for 7 you are taking 0 1 1 if you are having any doubt take the reference of 8 4 2 1 so 6 means 1 4 plus 2 so like that 1 Four plus two plus one seven like that. So here four means zero one double zero. So you take in six one point seven four in terms of BCD code. Now in any complement subtraction process, the second step is after considering tens complement of subtrahend, the second step is add it to the minor end. So for minor end, you just adding. So that means our minor end is twenty six point two five. for this i am considering bcd code after that i am going to add with tens complement of subtrahend for 2 i am writing 0010 for 6 i am going to write 0110 point again you are having 2 means 0010 again you are having 5 means 0101 so whenever you are having doubt take the reference of 8421 for each digit so after taking minor end and subtrahend next your process is to add these two so here you are adding these two means 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1 okay so here 0 plus 0 plus 1 means 1 see here no need to take 0 plus 1 1 plus 0 every time this is 4 and this is 5 you know that the addition of 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 same 9 you got in terms of binary so i am doing the same process so this is 7 and this is 2 the result is 9 here 1 0 0 1 here point so this is 1 and this is 
the result is 7 addition of these two will be 7 I am going to take directly so here this is 6 and this is 2 so you are going to get 8 so here after addition of minus and with subtrahend tense complement you need to check third step is you need to check the BCD addition result for errors when you are getting error means when you exceeded 9 or when carry is generated then you are going to get the problem otherwise the bits are said to be in proper form in proper BCD code see here this is 9 9 means correct BCD here also 9 correct BCD this is 7 correct BCD so this is 8 this is also correct BCD so all the bits are in proper manner but you are not having end around carry so our third step is cross check the result and check for the errors when there is no errors fourth step is follow up the carries but in first step if you are not having first step means whenever uh, you added these two in third step if you are not having carries means there is no other carries in other follow ups so here you are not having end around carry that means in any complement subtraction process if carry is generated you have to discard intense complement but in case of carry is not generated then you have to treat this result as negative and you need to take tense complement again to get the actual result first we will see what you got here so this is 8 and this is 7 and this is 9 and this is 9 see here if you subtract 26.25 uh, minus 38.26 are you going to get 87.99? No. Why you got this result means this result is not said to be in proper form. This is in complement form. Don't mistakenly understand this as your actual result. Whenever you are not having end around carry, whatever result you got that is in complemented form. To cross check the result whether it is right or wrong, you need to take tense complement again for the result with a negative sign. So here for this 87.99 I am considering 9's complement and then I am going to take tens complement. So here so 9 minus 9 0, 9 minus 9 0, 9 minus 7 2, 9 minus 8 1. 12.00 will be the 9's complement but our result is said to be in tens complement form. So we need to take tens complement again to get our actual form. So for tens complement means adding 1 to the 9's complement. So here 12.01 will be the result. So whatever result you got here even though that is a right result. So that seems to be in that uh, seems like wrong result. Why? Because this is not in normal form, this is in complemented form. To cross check the result, I take in tens complement once again. After taking tens complement once again, I got my result in proper form. Now you need to cross check the result. See 38.26 minus 26.25. What you are going to get? Same thing. 12.01 so you given with 26.25 minus 38 so that's why minus 12.01 you have to get same thing you got by using tens complement bcd subtraction you can treat this problem under tens complement bcd subtraction of larger from smaller case